Welcome back. Super excited moving forward in this lesson in the next few slides. I'd like to talk about AWS Firecracker being written in Rust language. So it's important to know just a little bit about Rust language. Of course, I'm not going to go in depth about the actual programming language, but just so that you're aware that how Firecracker is being written. AWS uses Firecracker with Lambda because it runs all of the functions, Lambda functions on Firecracker. So let's take a look at briefly about AWS Firecracker and the relationship with Rust language. The Rust programming language is a multi-paradigm systems programming language focused primarily on safety, especially safe concurrency. So think of this as an alternative to C++. Fairly new. Rust is syntactically similar to C++, but really it's designed to provide better memory safety while maintaining high performance. What it does, it helps programmers, coders write faster, more reliable software. That's why AWS, when trying to develop Firecracker before it made it open source, were thinking of which language to actually use and they selected Rust programming language. And according to AWS, really give them very few errors or bugs when developing Firecracker on Rust. So through balancing powerful technical capacity and a great developer experience, Rust gives you the option to control low level details, such as memory usage, without all of the hassle traditionally associated with such control. So it's really a nice benefit using Rust as an alternative to C++. AWS Firecracker Revisit. Just so that we know, once again, Firecracker was built by developers at AWS simply to enable services such as Lambda and Firegate to improve resource utilization and customer experience while providing the security and isolation required of public cloud infrastructure. So just a brief slide the basic definition of AWS Firecracker. Next, I want to talk about the use cases so you get more comfortable with when exactly or why do we use Firecracker, right? So let's take a look at an example use case. An example use case is that, for instance, let's say you want to execute potentially unsafe code and prevent it from affecting your server or other code running on that server. So you would use a spin up or let's say create different VMs and then use those to run that code. Let's say you run a platform as another example where you download and execute third party code, but you wanna make it so each customer cannot affect the other customer. Maybe you have different customers running or different databases of those customers running and you want to make sure that it doesn't affect each other, right? So that's another use case where you would use Firecracker. It spins up the virtual machine. That's what it does. And there could be thousands of these little virtual machines on the same physical server. So for instance, the command that you see here would spin up 4,000 VMs in about a minute. And this was demonstrated in the AWS reInvent. So just briefly, wanted to cover what Rust is, how AWS Firecracker uses Rust, and maybe a couple of examples of use cases as well. Before I end this lesson, I'm going to take you to the web and just kind of show you where you can go and take a look at the Rust language. If you're finding this a little bit more intriguing, sure, let me demonstrate that quickly. So let's switch over to the browser. So what you need to do is simply navigate to the URL that you see. There's rust-lang.org and then once you're on that page you can take a look at the latest version which is 1.34.1 this is what 2019 right even though the rest 2018 edition is still here and you can kind of scroll down take a look at why you want to use rust because it offers performance offers reliability and productivity and then you can build it in rust you can use command line web assembly networking embedded because in 2018 the Rust community decided to improve programming experience. 
Likewise, you can also get involved and contribute to Rust as well, if need be. If you're an experienced programmer or developer, you can do so. So again, just I'll leave this to you as homework and practice. If you have any questions, of course, post in the discussion area. But you're welcome to take a look at this. And hope this helps. With this, let's move to the next lesson.